All right, let's talk about the state of electric motorcycles going into 2024. Uh, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. So, Demon Motorcycles was supposed to be building a new factory in Canada. Uh, this will be done in uh, summer of 2022. That didn't happen, and uh, actually the, uh, the CEO went on Reddit and uh, said that he was going to cancel the factory this year and move it to California. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's not happening. They're not making motorcycles anytime soon. Uh, very unfortunate, but um, kind of expected. Uh, along the same lines, uh, Damon has gone public via a reverse merger. So you can now buy shares of their stock um, via a spinoff of Inpixon, which I looked up and it's basically a penny stock. I, I don't know why you would, I don't know, I guess just to try and funnel money into your scam motorcycle company um so continuing on this same line lightning motorcycles had a meetup they had uh, like eight or nine lightning bikes there and only about half of them belonged to the company so that was pretty good so every lightning employee rode a lightning motorcycle there and there was four or five actual owners there with lightning so that was impressive and that kind of puts them on track to be making about yeah two strikes a year or so based on uh, maybe three based on what uh, other people have seen um so yeah good for them and uh completely unrelated to that other story uh lightning is going to go ahead and let you buy shares with them uh they value themselves at $75,188,879. And uh, for only, what is it, uh, $306, you can own 30 shares of the company as it uh, as it starts to sell itself off here. And you have to hurry because uh, deadline is February 29th of next year. So if you want to get some lightning, pick up now. All right. This is such a depressing year. I mean, I hope 2024 is better than this because Saunders, the freaking, the, the, the golden child of electric motorcycles, you know, like we were hoping that they would pump out these cheap city bikes and maybe eventually start to, you know, crank up higher trim levels and have different models and, you know, have nice cheap electric two wheel transportation. Unfortunately, uh, Micah, he's amazing. He, uh, he dug up the fact that, uh, Saunders is not paying their bills, and they, uh, this was actually back in uh, October that this happened, and they have thousands of partially completed metacycles, there they are, just various states of repair, or various states of build, in the factories out in China, and uh, they won't send them here because, uh, meta, uh, because uh, Saunders isn't paying their bills, so very, uh, very depressing there, it's bad news for everyone who bought one. Uh, you're not going to have support for it anymore, and yeah, no no bright future of cheap electric motorcycles. Um, and then, most recent story, Micah also published that uh, Saunders is selling off their various patents, trademarks, all the, uh, the various technologies they've stacked up over the years, so <sighs> another one bites the dust. Uh, like I said, bad year. <laughs> bad year for electric motorcycles. I want to say 2024 is going to be so much better, but I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, who's, who's left? We got the last negative story, I promise, all right? We've got Energica's parent company, Ideonomics. I, I went and actually met with their leadership in New York years ago, and um, their, uh, their shares are down 90% this year. They were down 95 or so percent, I think, earlier this week, um, before they had some little announcement. But <sighs> this company, they're just... They keep doing reverse splits and stuff. They're 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 printing shares at an amazing rate to to buy off all these technologies. And I mean the the good thing is Energica itself is doing well, and they definitely have a lot of a uh, lot of technology and patents that make the company itself worth a lot. So I, I don't think we're going to see Energica go away anytime soon. Does it get spun off? Does it become its own company? Does it get bought by someone else? Does it does it come up under Yamaha? I mean who knows. Um, but the important thing is, Energica itself seems pretty solid. Uh, and along those lines, uh, Energica, as you saw from other stories I had this year, uh, they uh, actually competed against gas bikes and did quite well across the country in a uh, Super Hooligan series. Actually, podium, podiuming, that's a hard word to say. Is that a word, podiuming? They got on the podium, which uh, I think is the first for electric motorcycles against gas bikes. So very well done there. And then uh, along those same lines, uh, it turns out a stock EVA Rebel 
is uh, too fast for the drag strip, as uh, Sam Baker found out in, uh, in New Zealand down south. Uh, they were told to slow it down or else they were going to have to get special licensing or stop racing it there. So I think he's putting some uh, racing slicks in that and pimping it out, and I, I think he's going to come back, maybe find a different track that uh, isn't going to kick him off, and uh, maybe push that thing a little harder, and so I can't wait to see that. Uh, link in description for all this stuff. Check it out. Uh, definitely check out uh, Sam Baker's channel, New, Ze New Zero Land, and uh, watch all the fun things he's doing down there. Um, all right. Can't, can't not mention Zero Motorcycles in a uh, uh, year wrap-up or year wrap-up video. So uh, going to 2024, Zero has entered a manufacturing deal with a company in the Philippines, and uh, I thought they were doing they were manufacturing a bunch of the parts in China, but I believe that stopped. And the amount of production done in California has been reduced, and it's being mostly done in the Philippines with some of the final you know last few bolts being put in in California, you know to make it a California built or whatever you know i'm sure there's some legality where they have to put the the final pieces together in california and america for it to be a uh, american motorcycle american manufacturer um completely unrelated to that zero has slashed prices <laughs> uh it's more of a uh, going into 2024 kind of thing so uh if you want to uh, pick up a discounted electric motorcycle i'm sure there's still plenty of stock from what i'm hearing uh, at the dealers so uh, go check those out. They are $1,000 to $4,500 off for the 2023 models as the new 2024 start to roll out. Um, that's about all I've got. There's there's more depressing news about, like, I think Yamaha has... They they made this little tiny motorcycle. We've, we've all been waiting for the OEMs to finally get an electric motorcycle game. Well, they come into it and they bring little, like, 3 kilowatt hour packs that are hot swappable. That's great. I guess for commuters, you know, sure, but we were hoping for sporty, fun, you know, ninja kind of thing, and that's what we got. So, uh, yeah, a depressing video as always, but that's uh, that's the wrap-up going into 2024, and uh, I hope it hasn't been a complete waste of your time. Uh, links for all of these will be in the description below, and uh, have a great New Year's. Be safe out there. Don't drink and drive. Take care.